John Bajdal TV. Television fit to watch. Hey guys, John Bajdal here. Um, now a lot of you may have come across what I call Johnisms. Uh, I write about them, the Johnism of the day, on my Twitter page, um, they're on my Facebook page, and they're also in my book, Fitness Made Simple, The Power to Change Your Body, The Power to Change Your Life. Uh, the media actually coined the term Johnism uh, when they were writing about me because I would use these inspirational and motivational sayings. Well, one of my favorite ones of those is that you can always work it out if you talk it out. And that's what I'm going to talk with you about today. Because whether it be in our business or our personal lives, I believe that all problems can be solved if we just keep an open line of communication. It's when we close down that line that problems fester and molehills turn into mountains. And that's because the mind tends to play tricks on us. When nobody's talking to us or we're not hearing about something we want to hear about, all of a sudden we start imagining all of these different scenarios that are going on that often have nothing to do with the actual situation. And most of the time, those scenarios are so much worse than what's actually going on. Uh, for instance, myself, um, one thing happened to me recently. I was booked for a speaking gig, um, had the contract just about done, the travel arrangements were being planned, it was a great speaking gig out of state. All of a sudden, I didn't get the contract back, I'm worried, what's going on, you know, not hearing from the companies, I'm thinking, oh, they hate me, uh, they changed their mind, all these crazy scenarios going on in my head. Finally, I just pick up the phone and I call and I find out that the person who's supposed to sign the contract just happens to be on vacation. It was as simple as that. Speaking gig went great, everything got booked, but bottom line is I ended up spending all this wasted energy worrying, being nervous and anxious about something that wasn't even true. It happens in, in business too. Um, I know with myself, uh, we sell the Fitness Made Simple DVDs, you may have seen the commercials. Um, and I know with customer service issues, we have very few customer service issues, fortunately. But when we do, you might have somebody getting the machine at customer service. Sometimes that number will have the nastiest messages. These people will be threatening. They'll be cursing. They'll be yelling at you and doing all sorts of craziness. A customer service rep calls them back, and it's like invasion of the body snatchers. This crazy person is now the nicest person in the world. And they're just so happy that you're calling them back to resolve the situation and you're working it out. As a matter of fact, the weirdest thing about it is sometimes they don't even care about the solution. They just wanted to be heard. They wanted to know that their opinions, that their issues matter. It's when you ignore somebody, it's one of the worst insults you can possibly do, that you really, really piss them off, and that's what causes a lot of the problems. Same thing in personal relationships. I know that a lot of my friends who are married, um, the ones who have stayed together and have actually happy, stable marriages, have made one promise to each other. They and their spouse have agreed to never go to bed angry. That is so important. Every problem is solved before bed. Nothing is allowed to fester. Nothing is allowed to get worse. No molehill is allowed to become a mountain due to closing that line of communication. That one thing has saved so many marriages. Sometimes when we're angry with loved ones or friends, we don't even remember the cause of that anger, what the initial situation was that triggered it. We just get so preoccupied and overcome by the hurt feelings that that takes over our entire lives. If you just talk about it, it won't happen. So that was the point of today's vlog. No matter what your problem is, talk it out. And I mean talk, not email. Many, many people grow a big set of balls in cyberspace and they will say things to you that they would never say to you in person or even over the phone. The more personal the contact when resolving issues, the better. The spoken word is magic. I really believe it has the power to cure just about all of the world's problems. Think about it. Until next time, much love and respect.